welcome back to my channel my name is emily thank you very much for your time today for those that have subscribed thank you very much for those that have liked my video thank you very much so today i'm continuing the series about biomedical science i've done two videos the first one is what is biomedical science and the second one is who is a biomedical scientist so if you've not had a look at those videos kindly do so because a, this video is actually a continuation of those videos so today i'm going to be talking about how to become a biomedical scientist so to become a biomedical scientist you need to have studied an ibms accredited and hcpc approved uh, biomedical science degree a ibms is the institute of biomedical science and hcpc is the healthcare professional councils these two bodies are the bodies that regulate the workings and the trainings of biomedical scientists in the uk and northern Ireland. so if you would like to work in an nhs lab or in any private lab involving the treatment or the diagnosis or monitoring of diseases in humans or to anything involving the workings of human tissues you need to have um, be registered with tpc and to do that you need to have an ibms accredited degree so what do i mean by ibms accreditation to fully practice as a biomedical scientist you need to have studied some major components in your degree these components are stated by the institute of biomedical sciences as components or models that any biomedical science student should know about or any biomedical science student should have a knowledge of and these components are, are models like anatomy pathology cellular pathology, biochemistry, hematology and transfusion science, microbiology, immunology and genetics, molecular biology. These components need to be included in your biomedical science degree to qualify for high BMS accreditation. So for your degree to be accredited, you should have studied in, an uni in a university that has all these components in your modules for your biomedical science degree so your biomedical science degree needs to provide you with basic knowledge of anatomy cellular pathology biochemistry immunology and also it needs to provide you with the clinical knowledge of cellular pathology medical microbiology um, hematology and transfusion science clinical biochemistry uh, molecular genetics and the like so you need to have the theoretical knowledge and also you need to have the clinical applications of this knowledge in a medical setting or in a clinical setting so your degree needs to provide you with this so your degree also needs to have element of uh, like uh, clinical laboratory representation and also talks from other individuals that are in, in the industry already and from it also you should be able to gain other skills like uh, health and safety skill have an idea of uh, cost risk assessment because these are the things that you're going to need when you become a biomedical scientist also you should gain some research skills some uh, literature review skills some data analysis skills some statistical skills all these should be elements in your in your biomedical science degree to qualify for uh, the ibms accreditation the procedures or the requirement for the IBMS um, accreditation can be found on the IBMS website, which I would uh, link below so you can look through this. Also, there's a list of IBMS accredited universities so that you can have a look and check that your university is accredited before you apply. So another thing you need to be able to work as a biomedical scientist is your HCPC registration. The title biomedical scientist is a protected title. It is illegal to use this title without being HCPC registered. And to be HCPC registered, you need to have met some standards for you to be placed on the register. So anybody that would like to employ you can go on the register to make sure that you're qualified enough to practice as a biomedical scientist. So, HCPC registration involves two standards. One is the standard of proficiency, and this is basically a standard you need to meet to show that you are competent enough to carry out your work as a biomedical scientist. You can make informed choices, you can seek for help if you need to, you can um, make decisions within the legal and ethical 
boundaries. You can maintain your fitness to practice and you can practice as a biomedical scientist as safely as possible. The second standard you need to meet is the standard of education and training. The standard of education can be met by having an IBMS accredited and HCPC approved biomedical science degree. The standard for training can be met by completing an IBMS registration portfolio in a laboratory that is approved by the IBMS for training. So this usually can be completed as part of the four-year course which involves either going for the 15 to 18 weeks placement or taking a whole year out from your four-year degree to work in a lab and gain this experience while in this laboratory this is when you would have the chance to complete the IBMS training portfolio so by the time you graduate from university you've already met the standard of uh, education which is having an IBMS accredited and HCPC approved degree and also the standard of training because you would have completed your IBMS registration portfolio at the end of your fourth year so this is why the four-year course is of a huge importance also you can complete this uh, portfolio while being employed as a training biomedical scientist also some people are able to complete it while they are employed in laboratory as a medical laboratory assistant or an assistant practitioner this varies from one lab to another other labs support their medical laboratory assistant and their assistant practitioner to complete their premise portfolio but other labs will only accept people that are in the position of a training biomedical scientist to complete the registration portfolio but the training biomedical scientist you can you can complete this portfolio and usually is within a year most people complete it um, quicker than that so it depends on you and depends on how much time you've got and how the laboratory you're going to be trained in works in relation to the workload and everything so most people complete it within a year so after the completion of this ibms registration portfolio you are given a certificate called the certificate of competency this is what you would present with to the hcpc with your um, biomedical science degree certificate to be able to apply for hcpc registration then you can fully practice as a biomedical scientist. So what do you do if you went for the three years degree and didn't have the opportunity to go into an hospital laboratory to complete your IBMS portfolio? Most people that are in this situation apply for uh, assistant practitioner positions or medical laboratory positions. These allow them to work in the lab and if they are lucky enough, they can get the opportunity to study for their IBMS uh, registration portfolio but sometimes this is very difficult so that's why most people are encouraged to go for the four year four year course and also to do well so they can they can get the opportunity to go on this placement also you can apply for jobs as trainee biomedical scientists these are people that are not fully biomedical scientists because they don't have the portfolio already but they are training so they get a year to train and get the biomedical and uh, the IBMS portfolio and complete it. So if you went for the three year course, you can apply for other roles and also apply for training biomedical sciences. All these roles have uh, opportunities for you to do your IBMS portfolio. But the training biomedical sciences presents you with the direct access to do your portfolio but if you are able to get jobs like assistant practitioner or medical laboratory assistant it will depend on the discretion of the manager or the setting of the laboratory to decide if you are going to be supported to do your IBMS registration portfolio or not so you can still get the experience of working in a lab but you might not have the direct opportunity to do your portfolio so that is why it's good to get work experience even while you, if you're on the three-year course get work experience get laboratory experience and if you are able to go for the four-year course it's an extra year at university but it's you're coming out and you're able to apply for jobs immediately so what happens if you went to university that is not IBMS accredited or HCPC approved the degrees from this university have not met the standard of IBMS and HCPC for registration. 
So what you need to do is you need to contact the IBMS and request for your degree to be assessed. This usually involves you sending them a form of identification and also all your module contents and all the courses you studied in your biomedical science degree. It can take up to two or three months for IBMS to get back to you to let you know what you need to do in relation to getting your degree accredited and also the cost is around 290 currently. These assessments will determine if your degree covered all the required elements of an IBMS accredited degree and if it doesn't cover it, you will be required to take up some top-up modules at a university to make sure that you have actually um, learned or you've actually gained an understanding of all the elements of a fully accredited biomedical science degree. So at the end of the assessment, you should receive an assessment review form which will detail what you need to do if you need to take more modules or if your degree contains all the elements that are required. If your degree requires you to take uh, top-up modules at the university, all you have to do is just to contact the university, usually the course director, and to ask them if they offer the modules at their university. Like if you had a degree that you didn't do uh, immunology or you didn't do cellular pathology, you would contact the university make sure it's IBMS accredited and tell them that you need to do top-ups to make sure that your degree is accredited and ask them if they offer these modules at the university. So these modules can actually be taken full-time or part-time and would actually involve you taking some tests or some form of, of assessment so that you can get your grades and complete your top-up modules. On the completion of your modules, you should get a letter from the university stating the modules you took and also that you've made the standard for supplementary studies. So now you've completed your modules and your degree is accredited, you can contact the IBMS to notify them of these changes. So the next step now will be to apply for the HCPC registration, then you can get jobs as either a trainee biomedical scientist which allows you to do your IBMS registration portfolio which you can complete in a year and that makes you a fully qualified biomedical scientist. So thank you everyone. That is it on what you need to do in relation to getting registered and to be able to fully practice as a biomedical scientist. I hope all this has been very helpful to someone out there. Thank you once again and if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe, like and share my video and I'll see you in my next one.